Hello, my name is Zara Hoffman. I'm the self-published author of six books, a young adult paranormal romance trilogy and a new adult sci-fi romance trilogy. All of them are available to be bought as signed paperbacks in my Kofi store, which is linked as always down below in the description. I am a Kofi ambassador and that means that I have the inside scoop on this website more than normal creators while not being part of the official team who creates the website, but I do have a direct line to them, which is super cool. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why Kofi is king compared to a lot of other websites, not just other personal crowdfunding sites like Patreon, which is its biggest competition. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about why it is the best in so many ways, and we're gonna jump right into it. should you be listening to me? I just said that I'm kind of affiliated with the organization. How can you trust me? The short answer is that I fundraised over $2,000 in the first six months of 2021. I had signed up for this website a very long time ago. I don't even remember how long ago. And I had done nothing with the site for a very long time until I was going through my old bookmarks because I was switching from Safari to Chrome to be my main browser that I saw that I had a Kofi.com bookmark. So I went back to it, completely revamped my page, was sharing about it a lot in early 2021 and caught the attention of Sophie Parker, who is the community organizer, among other things, for the official Kofi team. And she invited me to become an ambassador, which I absolutely jumped on because the perk was free gold, which is amazing. And I will get back to that later. Now, if you already have a Kofi page, I would love for you to share it with people who are maybe not as yet convinced. But if you are a writer like me and are on Kofi, but maybe don't know what to do to maximize the platform to help fund your dreams like it has funded mine, I have a Kofi for Writer's Guide listed in my Kofi shop. It is a 30 page PDF. For 20 USD, I have put a lot of stuff into it. It works for any type of writer. You don't have to be a novelist like I am. You don't have to be a novelist with books that are already available to be put into your store as signed copies. All that matters is that you're a writer versus a visual artist who wants to use Kofi as a platform, and this will help you get started. So that will be linked down below. And Let's move into the features of Kofi. In a nutshell, Kofi is a personal crowdfunding platform. It is like Patreon, it is like GoFundMe, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, whatever you want to call it, but so much more. If you've heard of Kofi before, it's normally in the context of Patreon, which is the biggest platform that I can think of that creators use to monetize their audiences, in addition to or separate from selling merchandise. Patreon actually doesn't let you do that directly through their page like Kofi does, but we're not quite there yet. The main feature of Patreon and Kofi alike is that it is a virtual tip jar. It allows you to accept payments from people who want to pay you without you having to put anything else out there in return. Now granted, if they want to pay you, they probably already know you from somewhere else like here on YouTube or somewhere else and that's totally fine. But when I say you don't have to put out any other content in return for their money, they're not paying you for more content, they're just leaving you a tip. Now, in my Kofi for Writer's Guide, I recommend that you should, in fact, reward the people who are willing to put their hard-earned money towards whatever goal you have listed on your page, but it is a tip jar. Kofi, like Patreon, in addition to being a tip jar, also can serve as a blog of sorts where you have updates and people can see them publicly or paywall, depending on what you choose. I recommend you have a mixture of both because that's kind of the point is to get money, but it can also do so much more. So like I mentioned, Patreon can't sell things, but Kofi can, which is more similar to Shopify or WooCommerce if you're used to being able to buy things from creators that you support. And then you can also sell commissions. And if they're physical things, that sounds a lot more like Etsy, which is also pretty famous. And if you don't know what it is, good on you, because I'm sure you've saved a lot of money by not <laughs> falling down that rabbit hole multiple times like I have in the past. 
And then if it is a non-physical commission that you are selling, then that is a lot more like Fiverr or Upwork where people pay you to do something for them and you deliver a service. So how can Kofi be all of these things and do them so well when the term jack of all trades is actually an insult because it comes from jack of all trades, master of none. And yet I promise you Kofi is a master at all of these things. Let's start off easy. I said that Kofi can do more than be just a tip jar and a blog feed like Patreon. Patreon has tiers, yes, it's well known, yes. But they can take up to $20 of your money every single month. That's a lot, especially if you don't have a lot coming in to begin with. Now, I recently learned that if you live internationally, they don't take that much from you which I didn't know. But if you live in the United States like I do, you don't want Patreon taking up to $20 of the tips people are giving you. Your supporters are giving you money. And so if you're not getting all of it, they don't know that and you're not getting what you've earned. So strike against Patreon. Do I need to say more? Kickstarter, Indiegogo and GoFundMe while also giant names in the online field of crowdfunding are much more focused on individual projects. So while there is a button to follow the creator of a project page on all of these websites, it is not as much about the person than the specific thing. One goal and the person who's running it is kind of secondary. That's not what Kofi's about. It's about you, the person, and you happen to have goals. But because of those being one page per project, you have to create a new one every single time and that gives people the opportunity to not follow you from one endeavor to another, which is not ideal for you as the creator who wants to keep the audience that you've managed to get and not lose them every step of the way. Like Patreon, Kickstarter and Indiegogo take 5% of your money, which again, we don't want that to happen. There's a 2.9% transaction fee per donation that they do take. All of these scenarios could easily be more than the $20 a month that Patreon takes because it is based on percentage of what you're getting in. And we obviously want you to be as successful as possible on your page. So if you're earning more and therefore you're losing more, that's kind of not great. Let's move to the shop side of things. So we have WooCommerce and we have Shopify and we have Etsy. Etsy will take up to 40% of your profit, which is something I learned in late 2021, thanks to talking to my Wrightish podcast co-host and co-creator, Kelly Wright, because her sister-in-law does a bunch of crocheting and yarn things, which is really awesome. And her sister-in-law told her, oh, doing Etsy is super expensive because this is how much they take. Now, I had no idea about that, but the idea of being able to sell my items that will earn me money through the place where people can also offer me tips just makes sense because it's a one-stop shop. So instead of having to direct people to another website like Shopify or WooCommerce, even if those are both hosted through my website, ZaraHoffman.com like it used to be before I moved my shop over to Kofi. There's no reason to add another step because like I said, with the Indiegogo, GoFundMe and Kickstarter pages, the more steps you have, the more opportunities you have to lose someone. On top of that though, WooCommerce is the same as GoFundMe in that they don't take money from you directly, or so they say, but if you read the terms and conditions closer, they take a 2.9% transaction. And you need your own website for that because it's a plugin. It's not its own platform like Kofi is. Shopify is its own platform, so you could technically do it through there, but then you'd still have to pay for a domain, which redirects there. So that's more money that you're spending, plus the 9.29, 79 or 299 monthly membership. Shopify doesn't appear to take any of your money from what I could tell in my research, but it's still a steep investment. Let's talk about commissions. So 
I have never personally put up a service on Fiverr, but I have used it as a customer. It is a giant marketplace where people can advertise their services, people looking for things find them and they hire them for something and then get an email with the files of the completed project, whatever that is. Now, Sarah Sutton, a fellow author tuber on here, uses it to offer manuscript critiques and now formatting. She has said in many of her vlogs, although I now am blanking on the specific one where she goes into the troubles of being a Fiverr or a freelancer because if you do not respond to messages, almost instantly they can ding you. And if you get dinged, you then lose your ranking, which then makes it harder to get people to choose you when they are looking for people to hire. Also, if you are late on anything, you get dinged. So all these rules and regulations, plus them taking some of your money, it's really hard. Kofi doesn't do it like that. I will get into how Kofi does it after we talk about how Upwork does it. Upwork is free to set up while Fiverr can cost up to $18 a month for a special level but the service fees that Upwork charges you is something you should be aware of because the more money you make, the smaller their percentage is, but until then, they're taking a big chunk of your money and that's difficult. Kofi is free to set up and can be free to use forever. You never have to pay them any money if you don't want to. If you don't pay the money and you do choose to set up a shop and or commissions and you are a free Kofi creator, you will be giving them 5% of your shop and commission sales automatically. But if you become a gold member for six USD a month, you no longer have to give up any of that money. But regardless, you will never ever ever lose any of the tips that are given to you through the website to Kofi. Now they process payments through PayPal and or Stripe and both of those will take some of your money depending on their terms and conditions, but you're never losing money to Kofi themselves. This also applies to subscriptions or tiers. Those are two different ways that you can set up recurring income through your page and the differences are covered in my Kofi guide for writers, which is linked down below. To be transparent, I think the only thing that Kofi fails at compared to all of the other competition that I've named so far in this video in their different facets, all of which are kind of one feature for each site, whereas Kofi has all of the features in one site, is that they don't have an app. It's not a priority for them right now. They've said that because they want to keep making the website better. And the website is currently very mobile friendly that they don't feel like they need to. But other than that, I think they're winning at everything. They are still improving every single year. They were founded in 2017 and they had their biggest year in 2021 yet. I will leave a link to their post on that in the description down below. I will also leave a link to the Kofi pages of the main Kofi team link down below because there are great people individually beyond just this amazing company that they've created and they deserve the love. I have mentioned my Kofi for writer's guide multiple times and it is linked down below, but I also offer Kofi coaching sessions for one-on-one, -on -one, one and a half to two hour video call, which I record and then also type up notes for you where we will discuss what you should do for your personal brand on Kofi. How does Kofi fit into your plan, how much time can you devote to Kofi, what type of content do you want to put on there. Um, the guide will tell you how to set things up and are aimed at writers in a way that the general creator guide by the website doesn't really target, but this coaching session would be we talk about anything and everything and even if you don't plan on doing everything all at once, you have it planned out. So. That is also available at my Kofi page. If you get that commission or any other commission and book before January 31st, 2022 and use the code FEELING22 at checkout, you get 8% off. I offer commissions that are helpful for writers who 
are not published, writers who want to be published, whether through indie or traditional means. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos from me. I am trying to get monetized this year. I have a lot more videos planned for this year. As part of a perk for all of my Kofi tier subscribers, I thank them at the end of all of my videos. So I would like to thank my author tube tier of Violet, Jarek, Takia, Enchanting Tales, and Kandra. I would also like to thank Barrett Laurie, who makes up my book buddy tier, and my VIP club tier of Regina Duke, Kronoyami, and Natalie Locke. Thank you to all that you've done for me in supporting me on a regular basis. I could not have gotten where I am without you, and I welcome anyone else to join my Kofi tiers and in the VIP club tier you get a ton of features so be sure to check out the benefits that I offer for each tier before you decide. I hope you like this video and I will see you with another one next week. Bye!